has dropped today on the 31st of May 2024 and oh boy we've got some banger cracking mods and a lot of individual items like one of the packs we're looking at is a like, 30 items in that but as always timestamps will be down below MGP series this is by SMI Modern Team 29.84 megabytes to download and this is a little pack of subsoilers and they are 8 slots for the P9 and P11 and for the bigger P13 that is 9 slots for console and yes you'll find this under tools under subsoilers go towards the end so yep yeah, got a nice MGP Italian brand so yep yeah, got a P9, P11 and P13 P9 160 horsepower 4 meters working at 6 miles an hour and the P11 is 200 horsepower requirement, 5 meters at 6 miles an hour. And then lastly, 206 horsepower requirement, 6 meters and 6 miles an hour. And yeah, before we go ahead, I'm going to show you the configurations and all of that. So let's go towards the end again. And yeah, the only things you got here is with or without the deflector. So it's going to be the little bits on the sickles and that the plow sickles and that so that just helps with deflecting the soil out when you're ripping soil up but yeah so we'll hop into our gcb get this hooked up and yeah nicely detailed that and yeah does sit quite low to the ground yeah that's because he yeah, had it wasn't fully raised but yeah nice little bit of detail in that very clean very neat so yeah go unsable and yeah l1 right stick left to right we'll raise and lower the back bit there so you can proper tilt that down if you want but so yeah lower that and then yeah, you can manually adjust that to your heart's content and yeah, we're subsoiling at 6 miles an hour. And let's go into this little corner section over here. And see, we are subsoiling. So yeah, nice little bit of kit here. So yeah, we'll raise that up, fold it. And yeah, it's a nice heavy duty. And in real life, it'll work in any depth of terrain, so... Yeah, that is a nice little mod to look at. But yeah, apart from that, not much else to say. And yeah, that is the MGP series by SMI Modern Team. Next, a little bit small. This is the Lizard by 755. This is by Nicholas 757 and Vudex. 2.79 megabytes download. And yeah, it came up as a update, but it says version 1.0 so I'm not sure why on that but yeah essentially this is a half meter plow so go to your plows go towards the end 1250 for a half meter plow weighs 325 kilograms just requires 36 horsepower and a work speed of 6 miles an hour no configurations or anything like that but overall nice little bit of kit a bit of a sort of like a modern small equipment and then we've got a lot of vintage stuff on the mod hub in that but if you want something a bit more of a modern looking at like modern nice and clean then yeah this will be the mod for you and yeah only got raise and load the plow now to create fields no rotating because obviously yeah you don't really need to rotate this but Turn on great fields. You can see we are creating some very small fields. So yeah, I think in something like this, if I was going to use this myself, I'd be doing like the perimeter boundaries for a field in that. So let's say, for example, I want to do some field extensions here. This would be the perimeter setup I'll be using in that. And yeah, I know you use some bigger plows than that, bigger subsoilers than that, like, that you plow fields and great fields than that. It's like, you know, things like a... Oh, 
what go here in the UK allotments or like garden places and that. Not sure where you call in the States or elsewhere in the world, but basically there's a little plot of that. Plot of land where you grow like vegetables and that, so yeah, for allotments and that or yeah, in general for field boundary work. That'll be my use for it. But yes, yeah, perhaps more designed for you know actual plowing fields. But yeah, you can have multiple uses for this, so bring it up, drop you off. Pop out of our Z-Tur, so yep, nice little bit of kit, nice and neat, and yep, it is a small but modern plow, and that is the Elizabeth by 755 by Nikola 757 and the Ulex. Next, we got the Microtractor Spurrier Pack, this is by Giant FS, Isaac and Agrimods, 19.58 megabits of download, and yep, usually I do my mod reviews in categories, but we've got some few good and some few boring options, some may say to look at, so I'm going to swap things up here. But yeah, we got the micro tractor pack, and yeah, before we had the like, normal small micro tractor, which is something like this, like with the front end, but rather than having a seat and rear wheels and that, yeah, all you had was just this, and you pushed it in a way, or steered with your legs and that. But yeah, now we've got the micro tractor spare pack. And yeah, so we got a micro tractor that comes with cedars, furs, spreaders, sprayers, along with a trailer. And yeah, the trailer itself, I'm going to discuss in a sec, because it's designed for the EZs with the iron rails and that. And yeah, there's one small thing I've noticed with testing this that requires a update in regards to the crop destruction features, but I'm getting ahead of myself, so... First of all, let's head into small tractors. Go towards the end. So, yeah, got the micro tractor sprayer as it is. 10,190 to buy. 20 to 50 horsepower. 20 liters of fuel. 15 miles an hour top speed. Weighs 4.5 tons. And the tractor itself is 6 lots. Goes down to 1. So, yeah, engine setup. So, you've got standard 20 horsepower or a chipped version for 50 horsepower. Now, the wheels and that. So, yeah. First of all, you've got rice fields and that, without crop destruction and with crop destruction. And yeah, I'm going to test this at the end of this, but TLDR right now is, if you want the without crop destruction option, select the one that says with crop destruction. So yeah, what my thinking is in the naming of the wheels and that, it got slightly mistyped or the wrong one got categorised as crop destruction when it should be the other way around so yep until we get update 1.1 or whatever it's going to be called if you want these with crop destruction go without crop destructions and vice versa so the difference is it's like your thin wheels now on your tractors and sprayers and that you tend to use so yeah when you got crop destruction on you're going to the field and yet yeah, not destroy your crop so i'll go over that in more detail at the end but design got none or yes, and that is a little hoop and a cover in that. So, a bit of a South, South, well, I say South Africa, but South American vibe. But yes, I know that. Make our options you got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, blue, black, and got two blues and two greens. And yeah, that's going to change that top section of your engine. So, go back to red. Now, for your chassis colors, go with yellow. So, I'm just going to change your frame. As well as the supports and that for the decal or for design for the roof and that. Then rim colours, obviously as it is at the moment, does not make jack squat. And yet that would change your rims like so. But yeah, so that's that. Now we've got a trailer to look at. And that is three slots for console. And yeah, that is designed for... Yeah, it's more for the iron wheels now. I think it's under low loaders. There it is. At the end, two grand to buy. One slot... Oh, well, three slots goes down to one. And yeah, you got design one or design two. So you got wood deck in or not. Maker options. Going to change your frame. And then you got your rims. But yeah, that is designed for the iron wheels. Next we got cedars and a fertilizer spreader net. 
So yeah, what you need to do is go under Cedars, and for some reason, yeah, we've got the seed distributor, which makes sense, but the fertilizer one, eh, that should be under fertilizer technology and that. But yeah, your seed distributor distributes, like, spray seeds over the field and that, 12 meters working width. Does all your basic crops and that, including grass, all seed radish, and soybeans and sorghum. Uh, yeah, it is a game that requires just 20 horsepower, 350 liters of capacity, weighs half a ton. Uh, yeah, that is two slots goes down to one for both of these. And uh, for the fer fertilizer option, it's the same, but rather than seed, it does lime and fertilizer. Uh, yeah, good color configuration, it's got yellow or white, so it's going to change the hopper. And all your other colors again, that's going to change your chassis. Same thing. And yeah, one thing to note, these are very proprietary parts. These will only fit onto the micro tractor part of this pack. Try to do it with a normal tractor and it would not work. And then lastly, it goes, to your, goes up to 8.5 meters and does it at 6 miles an hour. And as I mentioned, two slots goes down to one. So that's the configurations. Now let's go over to everything we've got here. So. Let's start off with the fertilizer. And yeah, that's sort all of like chugging that, like chugging to life. That is nice. So I'm going to just detach that a sec. Go into cab now. Yeah, it's more of the outside you get that experience of. Even though you've got steering in that, it's a swivel steering. Also, the gear change animation for the driver in that. That's all you love to see. Again, very realistic in that. You know, with the belts now, the little pop, 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 pop engine. That is absolutely neat. L1R1, nothing. No indicators. You do have low and high beam lights. No rear lights, obviously, in that. Who needs those? Anyways, look for indicators. Who needs them? Certainly not KMW drivers, that's for sure, in that. Ugh, I drink it all in that, but it's very true, very re relevant. So, yeah. Look up the cedar in that. Or fries, spreader, sorry. And, yeah, what this we can do is able to spray your fields. And, yeah, always I've got precision farming on. But, yeah, the can imagine this with precision farming just fine. There we go. Distribute that. You can either do. Fertilizer or liquid fertilizer or herbicide. I've got herbicide, the most probably the best one to show off. But yeah, see on the left, we've got eight half meters or L1 and right stick. I can go down to five meters, so that is proper now. So you got your five meters there. Eight and a half meters, so that goes to the wide end. Actually, one thing I like is if we turn this off, it slots from the middle and then goes out to the edge. And yeah, so when you turn it on, it goes from the middle to the outside part. So, very realistic in that. Oh, yeah, forgot about those bells. We should get rid of those bells at some point. But yeah. Again, this is more designed for like, your small farms. That small farming. Now, moving on to the trailer. So yeah, first of all, one thing to note: it does have a hitch port, so bull hitch or a pin hook. And yet, yeah, you cannot attach that to this because obviously there's no hitch mechanism. But yeah, so for the trailer itself. You got tension belts, but also like with the uh, tow tray version of this one here by Castan 18, it does have the locking option. So let's go to the rear. So L1, L1, R1, right stick, left to right. Raises and lowers low. So that's going to be your ramps. Yeah, I like how you got like, the little support snap. I mean, it's fully loaded up. And then yeah, L1, X, that. Locks and delocks the rear trailer. So, even though you've got a uh, what's it tension straps, let's deactivate that. And 
anything so far so good. Let's get something a little bit faster here, so... Uh, yeah, let's go to you. Yeah, 45 miles an hour. That should be a good one to do and test. It was off for some reason. Not too sure why, but... Anywho, we'll get you attached. L1, R1, right stick, left, that will lower the ramps. And you can see you got these little grooves here. And that is for these iron wheels and that these, uh, whatever it's called, wheels and that. And yeah, that's because these are designed for the roads and that, because obviously with iron wheels and that, like spikes and that, like with tank tracks and that, it's not really designed for normal roads, but... Anywho, that is attached. We activate the lock. L1, R1, right stick to the right. That's gonna lock that baby down. You can see me, I am shaking that booty. And it's not coming off. Now, if I press L1 and X to deactivate the locks, let's build up a little bit of speed here, then go scanty flick. And off she goes. So yeah. Like with the little low, low trailer and that by cast on AC looked at the other day and that. That has a locking and unlocking methods, and that I do like to see. So yeah, that is that. And I'll hop into you here. And yeah, just quick show off the cedar and that, so... Let's go and grab you and go to the field to sec. We are approaching the field over here. Fortunately, all of our fields that are needed to be seeded are over here. To rearrange my test map a little bit anyway, so yeah. Refilled. Turn on the cedar option. It actually helps if you do it right. Actually, no, actually, no. Do this only to the right, but you can see that texture changing. There we go, we've got our crop in the brown soybeans. So yeah, really. I don't need to have it lower than you think. Yeah, it's up and we are doing the business, so... Yeah, L1, R1, nothing. R1, obviously got the door unloading that. But yeah, also I forgot about the horn on this. Yeah, that is a basic horn. But yeah, so that is the general overview of the micro track sprayer pack. But yeah, now I want to look at the issues with the tire situation. So there we go. Go to our tractor here. So we go to the workshop. Alright, so bear with me a sec. One go. So yeah, we've got without crop destruction on. So, no crop destruction, see on the right. Purchase it, not lease it, as I tend to do. We'll turn this on, and then we, yeah, we're heading to the field. And yeah, I do apologise if the audio is a bit loud with the engine. I do need to adjust my audio again now, because yeah, it's just having issues with getting it all fully synced up at the moment. Well, anywho. Let's head into our little portal over here. Again, this is not meant to destroy the crops, but as you see, we are destroying our corn and that. And this had to be used for a while and that. This is why the video's coming out late. It's like this and one or two other things that just made it late coming out. Yeah, go to our tools, get the workshop and that. So yeah, that is without crop destruction. And now, with crop destruction for another 100. So yeah, that should be destroying the crop. Just let it turn, turn on in that. So yeah, that's the corn over there. Now let's do wheat and corn, so... If this theoretically works, we should see crop destruction. 
it's about foils and that, or however the mod is actually named, it is named to mem foils, but you can change the names or stuff now, but yeah, that was very amusing. And yeah, it is the exact same with the conical or iron mills and that, so yeah, a small update is needed. Slightly broken and that. Well, it's not broken, it's just mislabeled. But anyways, that is the Microtrack Spirit Pack by Join FS, Eric Isaac, and Agro Mods. Next, this is the info post. This is by Red Phoenix. 0.91 megabytes to download, one slot for each. And yeah, this is essentially just little markers and that that you can have on your farm or on maps and that. So, but yeah, this is information on things in terms with your communal or general infrastructure, things like gas, water, and sewage. And yeah, you got the large versions and it seems like some of these smaller versions. So, but yeah, if you're like working to construction or anything like that, or just in general infrastructure. Yeah, you'll know these are crucial that to tell you where things are and that, how far away, and things like pressure and that. That is what they tend to be designed for now in real life. But yeah, regardless, you'll find this under build mode, under decorations, under others, and yep, yeah, 750 for each, one slot each. But yeah, all the really difference is you've got roof, new roof. Had in a round roof, so straight, round roof, or normal. But yeah, apart from that, not much else to say, but for a mod that is very helpful in terms with detailing up the map and that, this is one that I will recommend, if, especially a map maker and that. Yeah, just something to consider in that. But regardless, that is the info, info post by Red Phoenix. Next, in your plate, this is by Hell River or H3LLRVZER or Hell Revisor, or whatever. Do you apologize for getting it wrong? 2.79 megabytes to download. And yeah, essentially what this is a manure heap. Three slots for console goes down to one. Bit iffy in terms with placing. But yeah, so you find this under buildings, under silos. And this can hold up to a hundred thousand liters of manure. And that's why I place this next down to our cow barn, which we could be looking at next, just to see how it looks fitting up in that. So apparently that is a quarter full. And I'm thinking personally, you get what one, so two, three, four. Perhaps you can that bit there, four and a half, and at least double that. So. That should be, in terms of nine times the capacity of that, so rather than a hundred thousand a year, so I think that should be around, yeah, like 200, 250,000 a year in that for the size. But yeah, that's just me and that. And yeah, 100,000 year capacity, cost five grand, and yeah, it does recommend to level the area beforehand, otherwise display errors may occur. Occur, occur. But yeah, so once again, I'm just going to quickly show this off. Turns with under buildings, under silos. So yeah, obviously you've got like me in terms with the ground here, so just one thing to know now. But again, get a bit green with landscaping if you want to fill this out now. Yeah, in terms of placing as well, maybe just be a bit more careful so you don't have these awkward dips all the way around. Obviously, the backside ain't too much in that, makes sense of that. But regardless, that is the GDR Mineral Plate by Hell Revisor. Next, Old Wooden Barn. This is by Friar Kessis Modin, 14.6 MB download. Three free slots on console goes down to one or two, I think. We'll have a look in a sec. And yeah, what essentially this is, is a cow barn, so under your animals, under cows. And yeah, three free slots goes down to two. No color options. Holds 80 cows. Has a manure capacity of the normal silo of 5,000 liters. Milk capacity is 60,000 liters. Surrey is 100,000 liters. War is 12,000 liters. And lastly, straw is 35,000. 
And if we go to our animals under our cows, and yeah, it doesn't say about the food, but yeah, it's around like 47 or... Actually, yeah, we'll have a look now, so... In terms with where everything is, so ignore that manure heap. Your manure comes out of here. Shore point is here, literally, where we're at with the trailer. Your feed point is over here. Milk point is over here, along with your Surrey. And yeah, open that door, and that's going to leave you to your trigger nat for... Let's see if we get in here. Oh no, we'll look in a sec, but yeah. That's going to be your animal deer ship trigger nat, so... Oh yeah, turn for straw, you can do it via loose straw or bells. Same with the feed and that, so just show off with the straw itself. Yeah, chuck it in. And that it just sprays it out everywhere and that. But yeah, dialogue box, like so. Lovely jubbly. And yeah, let's go head into our tractor sec, so. And yeah, we'll then show off the input in this, so... Obviously, from the back a little bit, we may have just seen the trigger there. Actually, you know what we should do is... Skip ahead of time a little bit to 4 o'clock. And that's when we'll get that marker coming up again, so... Slow time, right down. And yeah, dang, I left that straw in there, Bell, so, but yeah. The trigger is here, like where it is. And your feed trigger is just over here. And yeah, free placing it on build mode and that. Yeah, it does leave some little rough bits and that, so. Well, not need any free mode, shall I say. But yeah, so it's back up. Oops. It's got to start there sex, who, so, yeah. Look up a trailer and that. Why are you hooking up? There we go. And yeah, R1, triangle. That dump your feed in. And does require water. Your water point is over here by the water trough. But yeah, for 110 grand, 8 heads of cattle. But yeah, it is a nice bit of detailing. I do love those. There we go, like so. And that's going to open your little workshop in that area and that. But yeah, that is the old wooden barn by Pra Cases Modding. Next, different here. This is the UK style silo. This is by MS Modding, 7.08 megabytes to download. Five slots for console goes down to one. And as you can see by the triggers and that, these are buy points and that. So, you've got a couple of items, lime and slide jazz and all that. If you go to that one here, that's empty. 50 pounds of your capacity, cost 25 grand, daily upkeep of 20. And yeah, it does support your DLC crops of your red beet, carrots, and parsnip. But yeah, sort of lime, wheat, fertilizer, seeds, mineral feed, pig foods, and that. But yeah, weirdly, no TMR or anything like that. It has your pig food and that. It doesn't have anything for the horses, but it's got your wheat for your chickens as well, so... Yeah, a little bit odd in that, but... But yeah, anyway, so once you purchase, let's say, one litre, or two litres, let's say... And, oh yeah, I forgot, I want to change it. Nope, can't change it. Can only stick to one crop type per silo. But yeah, handy bit of kit. And yeah, you'll find this under build mode, under silos. Go towards the end. Yeah, 25 grand to place. No colour options or anything. And yeah, as I mentioned, five slots goes down to one. And yeah, again, something a bit different. Something I may be using that. But regardless, that is the UK style silo by MS Modding. Next. For something a little bit different, we've got the... Weekly market. These are a bunch of sell points. This is by Farmer Five Tom. Twenty-four point nine five megabytes of download. And yeah, this is a, essentially a pack of thirty little items that that you can use to create like a unique sell point area. That create your own like little 
modernised farmer's market and that with, you know, things like transit vans being repurposed and that to sell items and that. But as you can see, these summary sell points act as production, so running over that in a sec. But yeah, we've got sell points, we've got decoration items and that, you know, you've got your, like, your bike racks and that. And yeah, they place these bike racks down and that, like, the bikes are separate, but with the bike stand, yeah, I think I did quite a good job of that. But yes, before I get ahead of myself, let's go into our sell point. So, we got a plethora of items, so first of all we got three different style of baker's stall, so you got your baker's stall with the Morgan's Bakery, baker's stall with the West Hill Bread, and then lastly the baker's stall with the AU Fornal, Owl Fornal, I'm not sure what that means, but yeah, but essentially these are your bakery sell points, these will take your bakery items, so your bread, flour and cakes, and they are Next, you got your farm stall, which is just a little trailer nat, like a little stall item. And that will sell your eggs, potatoes, honey, canola oil, soybean oil, and sunflower oil, along with some flour. That is 12 slots, goes down to 1. Next, you got your vegetable stall. And this is your vegetable stall, Grumus Sork. C-Corp? Oh, uh, yeah. Not even try to uh, try pronounce it, but yeah, pronounce it very badly, obviously. And yeah, essentially, this will take your grapes, the potatoes, and your other vegetable items. And yeah, that is also. That is nine slots, goes down to one. Next, you've got a cheese stall, so that will sell your cheese, butter, and milk. Got your chocolate sell point. That does your chocolates, raisins, sugar. Great, yeah, grapes, raisins, along with grape juice and strawberries. The next, you got your vegan sausage cell. So, if you want some soy sausage, you're a bit of a little soy boy here. Yeah, this is the perfect one for you for your vegan sausages and that. And yeah, the cheese stall is some sorts. The chocolate stall is eleven, and soy one is seven. So yeah, that is all your sell points slash productions and that. Because, yeah, these are designed to sell between the hours of 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. And, yeah, we'll have a look at that, a little test in that. But, yeah, next on to your decorations, you've got an advertisement board here. That is and, yeah, actually, if I get these up here, so these would be under your decorations, under other items. So, yeah, you got your advertising box. That is one slot. Your benches, benches one and two, that is two slots. Then you got your picnic bench here, that is two slots, goes down to one. Then you got different bikes here, so you got your blue bike, red bike, and white bike. All these are one slot. Next, you got your bike stand, that is two slots. Then after that, you've got four different kind of recycling area so you got your recycled station for your trash net for your glass for your magazines so your paper and your carton and also you got a little recycling bin over here you know like a little weedy bin here as we call it in the UK you know use it for like your general rubbish net also yeah you got a parking meter net that is one slot got a drinks fountain that is two slots gone over those yeah you got a shopping basket here and that that is one slot shopping cart is two slots shopping cart stand is two slots next you got your tan flowers now so these are the little flower pots you got like four different options of these and all of these are two slots each and then lastly you got the moody mirror or basically a garbage bin in that and that is two slots goes down to one, so yep. A lot of different decorative items. Very awesome, that. And yeah, there's a pack of 30. And yeah, if we go into our productions and that. And yeah, you notice, yeah, we got 
flowers and that over here and that and that's pretty much it I haven't got anything else over but yeah I am interested to look so we turn flower on there's no outgoing products and yeah essentially yeah that is set now even though it's like 10 o'clock we have a little look on that so see it just goes down over time in that and yeah in that about an hour how much is that? So there we go. About an hour. And yeah, also yeah, I've completely forgot. Yeah, I got everything on into distribution for a flower, but all right then let's go to eleven o'clock. So this time I'll make sure we slow it right down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that is what about 41 42 liters an hour and fear if we go to our items here yeah, sold products we've made 80 quid in that so essentially and that's the thing like with the farm production pack that came out recently there's a very similar thing but unlike that you didn't have to pay eight quid or eight bucks or dollars whatever this is a free mod in that like that you sell things over time yeah, maybe not the fastest in that. Look, what's that? 40 litres an hour in that. Times that by 24. That is 80, 160, 800, 960 a month. So about 1,000 litres a month this will sell. So, yeah, it's not the most fastest. But, you know, just imagine a little sell point error with, like, dozens of these in that. Even though these are productions and you're going to hit that production limit very quickly, which I think is around like 40 or so productions, so yeah, you're limited on what you can sell that. But yeah, for just a general role playing aspect, you know, customize a little map and that to your own heart's content, especially with these items like your shopping carts and that. And yeah, all these are decorative items, so you can't be lifting that. So yeah, just a little thing to know. I also do leave these kind of ground textures and that, but if you want, you can just go over them that, so uh, let's pick, there we go. You can pick them over, or if you want these little gravel here, then yeah, bang on, crack on. But obviously this comes with the map, the gravel and that, so that may be limited in terms of, depending on what map you're on. But yeah, overall, a cracking production in that market by Farmer 5 Tom. Next. So, alright, moving on, we've got the Lizard Excavator Forks. This is by JGW Modin. 1.23 megabytes to download. And yeah, essentially, what this is, it's a little fork in that. That's the three pallets in that. Two slots for console. And. Yeah, rather than it being on a tail handle or something, you've got a excavator. So I'm using the Volvo as part of the Platinum DLC. So one thing to note, I am very shit when it comes to excavator. So I say, right, lift this up. No, yeah, there we go. Lift that up. So yeah, you've got these like forks here that like likes to flip up in that. So there we go. Now do that. So, L1, R1, nope. Where do you tilt? There we go. Like, again, I'm absolutely useless at when it comes to this, so. Nope. I'm guessing. Something like that. Okay, L1, R1, sorry. L1, right stick, up and down, does that. Bring some forks in and out. But yeah, again, I'm getting very confused, so I'm guessing you want something like that, you know, bend it inwards, then gently pivot that, raise it. But yeah, it's so, maybe it's a bit better for you, Nat. There we go. Got the pallet forks, Nat, so. No, not that button. No, not that. But yeah, I get the idea of it. I'm just absolutely shit when it comes to experience. I'll admit that now. I'm proud to admit that. 
in a way, but yeah. Yeah, I get the idea of that. It goes on, stays on that. Yeah, I haven't got this perfectly aligned, so yeah. It is user error in that. It's not the modern now. I've seen this work in that. I've seen the picture, I've seen other people doing it already when I was doing the prep work on this. But yeah, why am I going something a bit heavier, so. Go to that. L1. Oh, nope. Swap to that. L1. I think, yeah, bring the forks in. And yeah, bear me a sec whilst I try to get this hooked up, but there we go. Also, I have to do a little jump cut there, but no, I'm doing that. No, yeah, I'm absolutely useless when it comes to excavator work, so yeah, I think for now we'll just skip this mod review now. Well, well, yeah, I'm showing it off in that, but. Yeah, I'm not giving it proper respect as it deserves in that. If what's on to look at, I guarantee you, by the time I've, this is out, I know Looney Farm Guy would have done something on this, so... Uh, forks and that. But yeah, I am just absolutely shit. I do like the excavators now. I don't tend to use them that. I used them when the Platinum Expansion came out. I just knew like a gimmick item in that. Something new in that. But I very quickly realised this wasn't for me. But yeah, so you'll find this under tools, under miscellaneous. Two grand to buy, 500 kilograms, and as I mentioned, two slots goes down to one. And yeah, you got your sander forks, then you got your fork extension. And I went with the extensions here and that. That may be why I was having issues with it, but yeah, at the end of the day, I don't know and that. But yeah, regardless, a cracking little bit of kit here and that. And yeah, that is a poor mod review of the Lizard Excavator Forks by JDW Modding. Next. Moving on from that embarrassment, we've got a couple more mods to look at. So, next one we're looking at is the Object Storage Pack. This is by NOP82 No Modding. 2.44 megabytes to download. And essentially, what this is is a belt and pad storage. And yeah, you've got a one over here that is for 150 bells and pallets. Actually, I got 55 bells in here. Yeah, a lot of them were uh, slash bells first for that, but yeah, the visual aspect has filled up. Even though I've got 13 large cotton bells in. And then if we move over here now to a very, very larger short one. And yeah, I've got the large one here. And that is 250 bells and pallets. And yeah, you do have that collision, unfortunately. But yeah, so you can exit your items here and that via the spanner. The loading point is here in the hazard box. And your items come out here to the left here. So let's get a heat bell out. So we're seeing spawns here. These aren't a liftable one. But yeah, let's go and grab some bells a sec, so bear with me. I've got 29 slash bells, so yeah. Let me just unload these from the trailer, so go over the hazard box. There you go. So restock that so I can show you that one. And yeah, I've got more bells in. Obviously, it should have gone with something a bit different in larger quantities. But yeah, that may change the visual representation. But regardless. Next, we head to the sheltered one. Bam, bam, bang. And yeah, I like how it just like jiggles it all about that based on properties, quantities, and that. That I do like in that. But yeah, so where do you find this? You find this under build mode, under sheds, weirdly. And yeah, so you got your small one over here. That is 2,000, and slot count is 4, goes down to 1. Obviously no colour options or anything. I think you got a large one for 250 bells and pallets. 5 slots goes down to 1, once again no colour options or configurations. Of that sort. But yeah, a cracking detailed bell and pad storage. And this is the object storage pack by NOP82 No Modding. Next. Now, this is a huge American shed here. This is the American Midwest Cold Storage. 
This is by iCast, 9.9 megabytes to download, 125 grand to buy, and essentially this is a cold storage. Oh yeah, you can use this to store crops, store equipment, store pretty much anything to, as you wish. In terms of stock counts, it is 15 slots goes down to 1. Oh yeah, you find this under buildings, under sheds. There we go, 125 grand to buy. Oh yeah, if go over here and that. Oh yeah, we've got your colour options and that. Like 20, 21 colours and that, I think it is. 21 colours, they're an eye cast and that. But yeah, again, the whole plethora of colour options. So yeah, first of all, you got your free bay garage door and that. So close the gate, slowly close this out. Oh yeah, so yeah, you got these little switches over here and that. Yeah, you've got also lights over here, and all your switches are over here, so lights on and off. So this one here will change the ones on the door, but not the ceiling. For the ceiling lights, you need to go to this switch over here by the door. Lights on, lights off. Actually, you know what? Let's put lights on, lights on, so we can actually see. But yeah, cracking detail now. Uh, two bay doors over here. That's a rolling animation. Another little date rolling bay door. Then you got your door. Oh yeah, you got this section here, which is drive through ball if you wish. And yeah, once again, a another door net. But yeah, overall, cracking bit of kit in that. Cracking mod in that. And yeah, just like lots of little details to it now. Especially the animations with the doors and that. It is very large, but it's designed for like your large American farms. And that's why it's reflecting the price of 125 grand. But yeah, so that is the American Midwest Cold Storage by ICAS. Next. It is Pasta P Next. It is Pasta 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 for everyone time. And yeah, this is the Pasta production. This is by Piracy. 7.14 megabytes to download. And yeah, this is a production of where you can get all your, like, your pastas and that. And yeah, so you got your plants, you got triggers and that. On the top of that, you got your grain mills so you can get your maize flour and that. But yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself. So, first of all, build modes under productions, under factories. So yeah, you've got your grain mill, that does your normal flour on top with your maize flour for soybeans and corn. That is needed for the production. Then next you've got your huge pasta factory, so that will do your soup noodles and that. We'll have a look at that in a sec. And then yeah, you've got these triggers over here, and these are designed for... To go on to buildings and that, that can be used as like a little production, so... For example, like with the one here by ICAS, let's say I'm not using this for vehicle storage. You now put the trigger down over here, get to a certain point, and then boom, write that production down. And now this is my new pasta factory. You know, sort of pasta in there if you want, they get that little role playing aspect. But yeah, essentially the triggers are productions and that. So you also could do is have, you know, extensions use this as a extension as a little bit of a role play aspect maybe but yeah in terms of slot counts it is 60 which is just over here is two slots your green mill is 15 slots and the green mill trigger which is just here is also two slots but wait we've got one more item and that is the sell point for all this so somewhere over here past the production there we go that's going to be your sell point for your pastas and that. However, if you got the sell everything container and that by Schultz Modding, then yeah, that will accept it with no ease whatsoever. No, no ease, no problem whatsoever. So, yeah, let's get away from soy boy sausages and that. And then, yeah, got your pasta production over here. Capacities are 3,000, oh, sorry, 3,000 years for the flour. And yeah, 5,000 years of eggs, 20,000 years of water, 40,000 years of flour. And your potatoes. 
is I think around 45 or 30,000 a year or something like that. I can't remember at all. I haven't got my notes. But yeah, with that, you can get your dry pasta with flour and water. With flour and eggs, you get your fresh pasta. With your flour and potatoes, you get potato pasta. Your maize pasta from either your corn, which is actually amazing at. And then your soybean flour from your soybeans. So, if you don't want to be a soy boy in that, get some soybean flour. But, yeah, so that's that. Now for the grain mill. So, capacities are 270,000 litres. In terms of your input, output is 3,000 litres for nostril. Maize flour and all that is around 200, 250, I think. Like with these ones over here and that. But, yeah, so you're going to need your maize flour and soybean flour for your other productions, as I mentioned. But yeah, as I mentioned also, you can sell them if you want, so if we scroll down all the way down here, so not these, but yeah, have a look at your dry pasta and that, so yeah, 5,000, 4,000 years. Price does fluctuate for all items as you see, so peak price is in around January, February time, and then it is rock bottom normal seasons and that, so but yeah, as I mentioned, I don't need that past the sell point that. Very easy, you can go over ways in that. And yeah, it doesn't affect in terms of prices or charges or anything like that. But yeah, so... Inputs and that, so inputs for all your eyes for the past sell production is here. Wax some eggs in. And your trigger that for your past sell production is just here. And then that's it, your pallet spawn point is over here. I haven't got all sorts of stuff in that. Unfortunately, none of these are liftable pallets and that. Oh, one thing I should note, just in case you're wondering in that, but yeah. But yeah, again, there's something different than that. Something different to do in that. And I may do it again. I think about a test video in that over the weekend. If I've got time in that, is it worth doing the pass up production in that? So. Yeah, that'll be a nice little video in that. But yeah, so that is that. Moving on to your green mill, so... You've got your flour in that, so maize flour, soybean flour, they look like exactly the same as your normal flour. With the exception of the name, so you've got your maize flour, maize flour, maize flour, maize flour, and then that's it, your soy flour. That is something interesting. And yeah, if we have a look at our normal flour, these are this, this ball if you want. And off of that, decent capacities in that for all the packs of point. Input is here and that, obviously, with like the green mill and that. But yeah, this is a cracking production. And yeah, it is 90 grand for the pasta production building, 20 grand for the trigger net. The green mill is 96 grand. The green mill trigger point is also 20 grand. And yeah, it says in the mod description, just looking at now, the production triggers are meant to be used for decorative, per oh sorry, decorative buildings that on the ver verges of converting them into productions. And yeah, it's, it's the model also contains cell point now, which yeah, we've gone over in that. But yeah, a cracking mod now, one I highly recommend. And this is the Passer Production by PRC. Next, we're going to head on to our final mod of the day. And she is a doozy, so feel free to check that out. Now, for our final mod of the day, this is the all in one underground facility. This is by Superfly1842. 7.91 megabytes to download, and I am excited to see this. Like when I first saw the sort of test video on this about what two months ago, when Superfly1842 was doing like the modding on this and that, the early works of it, the work in progress, I was super excited and finally joined to pull my finger out of their asses. And we finally, with all due respect. Oh, we've got this, and yeah, 7.91 megabytes. The terms with slot count it is 
45 slots for console, so it is pretty slot intensive, but trust me, it is worth it. The slot counts now, and seriously, the amount of detail, the amount of work has gone into this, 45 slots, I'm surprised it's that low. But yeah, so this is where you can store your equipment over here. So there is two bays of storage. We'll look at that in a sec. And then we'll go into our building in a moment because there is some things to be a bit wary of and that, but I'll call these additional features and that. So in terms with the basics of this, so you'll find these under buildings, under farmhouses. It is 500 grand to place and the extra cost of additional, so the landscaping and that, because this does go quite a bit into the ground. So the modder, and I recommend, well, no, not me as the modder, the modder recommends this as in the mod description. And in testing, there is a reason for that, is do not free place this. You must allow the train to the four miles placing. It's a large facility and it will go deep into the ground. And it says for folks on PC, it is recommended to level the terrain to the best of your ability and be cautious if you're on PC and using mods that let you terraform anywhere as the whole crate is just large enough for the facility. So what I'm going to do is, first of all go to my landscaping. I'm pretty sure this is perfectly leveled because when I set up this area, I made sure everything was leveled. So yeah, I'm going to quick go over this, get it all nice and leveled. Because this is crucial. There we go. Maybe a few quid spent there. But yeah, go to buildings, farmhouses. And yeah, it's 45 slots, goes down to 2. And does have a site capacity of 600,000 liters. And this is a multi fruit fill type. On top of that, it comes with 45,000 liters of water and 5,000 liters of diesel that can be replenished in that. So. Let's go and place you down. I see it leaves a little mark error over here, so it's not too bad. And if I oh, no, let's say get rid of it, get some money back from the water and diesel. And now this is the thing that Super No Man's Land do have a very hot, was it a very high or very low water table now, where the water is very close to the surface. But trust me, this doesn't really affect it too much, that. And I'll explain, so... Let's head into the facility, so... Circle to open the door. And yeah, I know I'm on PlayStation 4 now, not current gen, that. And yeah, so you won't see the true effect of these beacons. Yeah, PC or PlayStation 5, so I know the Farm Guy will have something on this. Or Miss CP and that, by the time this has come out, so... Yes, try again. And I'll do this at night as well at the end. Because, yeah, it does showcase it better at night. So, yeah, that automatically closes as you come in. And, yeah, first of all, we're going to ignore the water on that. But, yeah, this is a concrete little side on that. Basically, this is like the end of the day, you know, if you're a little prepper on that. And, yeah, we have the water feature. And I call cool this a war feature. That is additional security now. If you come in here, first looks at that. Oh, it's just a bit of a war pool and that. That's it, I'm off. But no, this is an extra security deterrent, as I call it. So, we're heading to the lift. Activate the elevator. Go below the water surface. And, yep, yeah, there we go. See, it's just that little layer of war. War, water, and that. And, yep, yeah, here you can have... Light change of clothes over here. Trigger got a big cat statue, and that is a little hint off towards what Super Fight 42 is doing with the metal, metal and gems production. Because, yeah, you can get one of these cat statues already, but I know he's working on a awesome update to it. And, yeah, I just can't wait for that. Also, another hint is these little gems and that. And, yeah, when that comes out, I'm going to be even into that. But yeah, anyway, it's got a little kitchen area in that. Got your baguette in that, so keep your fibres in that up on that. No, your fibres, your carbs in that. Got your little game console here, little Mars in that. Again, a hint to what he's working on with. A production for the Mars mission map in that. 
That's going to be coming in a future update, so that I'm also excited about. But yeah, you've got your upstairs light switch on and off. So, oh, actually, I'll give it time to turn on. So, instantaneous, it's like a half second delay, so that's me getting too trigger happy, that is. And yeah, so first of all, got a control panel. So, yeah, got your garage lift one and lift two. And this is your two bays and that. So, this is your second bay. So, what I'm going to do is let that go up. So, that's going to go to the surface. And then that will leave us with Garage Bay 1 here, in theory. And I do love, like, the clacks and the, like, hazard lights and that for testing that. And if you want, you can hop onto here that. Don't know why you would, too. There's nothing really here to see. But then, yeah, you got a vehicle here and that. So, if you go put that back down, so that's going to lower. And then what we'll do is we'll select Garage Lift 1. And there's a reason for this. It's basically because of how Farm Sim works. How the game itself works. You can't have two triggers in one area. So, so yeah, that's back down now. So now I'm going to say Garage Lift 1 up. So the top is going to open again. And yeah, I'm going to quickly squeeze through that. So... Yeah, again, ignore the water on that. It doesn't really affect your vehicles and that at the moment. And there is a risk of it if you do it wrong, but I've done a lot of testing on this. About half an hour, 45 minutes. I was just having fun with this. And yeah, so you've got your garage bay one here. And yet to go back down. Go to the control panel. That's going to lower. We'll hop into here. Go below our water security feature, and that. Oh, yeah. Some minor flickering textures, and I think that could be a map thing, that. But to be honest, ain't that bad. It's only when you go like, back and forth in certain spot, and that. And when that is activated, as it seems, because, yeah. Now that is fully low. So flickering textures, and that, in terms with the lighting, and that. But anyways, we're going to head down here, and this is where you got your workshop trigger, and that is for your two bays and that. So yeah, you got your second bay there, and your first bay here. Again, got your control panel for both here. And yeah, I think we've got a light switch here. Light switch for the garage. So that's going to turn the garage lights on, so if we go up in that. And yeah, got lights for this, so... That is the interior of this. Now let's head out. I apologize for that burp came through on the mic. Yeah, so let's head out of here. I like the little like, wearing bits on the doors as well. I do love that. So, obviously we looked at that inside. We had a quick look at the facility over here and that. And yep, yeah, over here it's going to be your silos and that. So... Your input and output for your multi-fruit silo is here. Your input and fill point for your water is here. And for your diesel tank, it is over here. And yeah, so as you can see, got your triggers and that. Well, does it does come up as a trigger icon here, but your refill and fill up, oh sorry, your fill up trigger for your fuel is here. And to top up both of these and that, you go to here and that. So yeah, let's do a quick demonstration with this. So, if you'll put your top into here and that. And we'll head into our... Oh no, we're not heading to that one. This is the one that happens when you don't do it properly. So, this is our used free place mode, I think. And you can see, that's where you get your concrete... The land doesn't deform in that. So yeah, again, this is just a little quick test to see and to show you folks why the highest crucial. Yeah, every all sort of works in that. But if you try to place a vehicle there, actually, this is going to be a bit of an extensive review in that because I would have some fun with this. So let's say if you cock it up, 
how does Form Some Physics handle this? So, lower it. And I'm going to go down till that hits the top. And, yeah, as expected, yep. Yeah, physics didn't really like that, but that that makes sense. Now again, I should be having fun. That is so. But yeah, let's just go to the fuel point because there was something I noticed with either versions of these. And that so yeah, go to your fuel point over here. Now fill up the tanker. Now so yeah, fill up with fuel. But empty this. Hopefully, well, oh. so yeah, let's go and start overloading. And alright, so in testing, oh, that, that was underfilling. But now, I, oh, you know what, I don't know on that. Like, honestly, I don't know what happened there, but actually, I am curious. So, go into here. Whack one you down, so I want diesel. Fill that up to the max. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I think 89,000 liters is going to be enough, so. Is there. Alright, that's interesting. Uh, is that because of the silo that it's counted as that? Actually, there is an easy way to find out, so. Of course, a lot of tabbing in that. There we go. So, yeah, let's go and grab the wood chips here. I think it is. We've got. Guaranteed that's, that's counting as a part of the side of that. So. Oops. Oops, there. So, yeah, let's go and empty the wood chips in. Because, yeah, there is another feature I do want to show, Nat. So, yeah, this is filling up. And is that going to stop at 600,000 liters or less? I think it's going to stop less. And it is. So, alright. So, now what I want to do is fill this up again. So, fill it up with diesel, Nat. So right, now that I've emptied the fuel, we're still hitting 554,000 litres, so yeah, that's counting in the fuel and diesel with the tanks and that, and yeah, that sort of does make sense in that, so these are all integrated into one. I Initially, I did thought these were separate, but again, if you do want these as like separate and that, you can add on to this with other mods or even base game stuff and that so for example go to your containers and that and get the exact same base game model here so obviously you want to go on this end so it's going to be a bit off the weird site and yeah obviously you need to free mode place this and I don't think that's going to have an impact on the facility itself Oh yeah, this is the broken one, so I can't retell really that for sure, but... Again, just turn the hazards, or the, not the hazards, the icons off. And Bob's drone called are good in that, so... Okay, a little thing to note on that. But yeah, one thing I will just show off before I do some... Funny testing is... I've got to be super quick with this, so... I'm going to quick hop out of here. I want open up, open, open. Hop down here. I'm going to see our wood chips filling up. Nice to see. That is absolutely beautiful. I do actually like that. Actually, view your green that. So when you're during, like, you know, the fallout area, not the fallout period, this could be your inspecting window to make sure your crops and that, your food and that is all good and that. But yeah, I thought that was just a nice little thing that to have a look at. But now, I want to have some fun with this, so... I think this is the one that... Yeah, that one functions, so... I want to open this up. Do I have anything in storage at the moment? 
no. So, for, actually, this ain't gonna be the fun, fun testing part. That's with the first bay, that is. So, but yeah. So, how this works is you can get a fair bit of stuff here. So, the size of this, you can get a tr truck, tractor, and trailer. You can get a lorry and trailer on this, just fine. And even combine harvesters and that. So, actually, if I go to our combine, bring you over and that. So, this is the Colossus. So, yeah, if I was going to store this, I know a way to do it. So, first of all, I'll fold the harvester itself. Then, I'll put the wheels out as we get to the area because, yep, yeah, you ain't going to be able to do it. 30 meter header and that. You know, yeah, that works fine. And actually, oh, okay, let's have some little bit of fun, a little bit of testing. It's all for scientific purposes and that, and helping out Super Fight 842 in case of any bugs and that. Yeah, there's no bugs now, but I'm just making them excuse. So, yeah, I'm going to say you're going to go there now. I want to put you forward. Okay. This may work, this may not work. Uh, uh, yeah, again, I, I am tr pushing the limits, I am. <laughs> and you know what? Screw it. Let's just go down. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, I'm stuck. Stuck. Help. Free me! Nope! Oh, physics! Physics is happening! <laughs> oh, sorry you've got epilepsy! <laughs> oh no, what's happened? I broke it! I... <laughs> I've broken it! Oh, I phased through the entire building! Actually, whilst we're here, have a nice little inspection. Quality work off all the underground stuff. Oh god, that, that, that should not have happened. Oh, yeah, that is just complete and utterly broken. How does it look from inside? I need to look, so... Yeah, this has gone from the mod review and just having fun in that, so... Yeah, well, I see nothing wrong with that. Oh no, we want you up, so let's free ourselves from this, so... Okay, fun part one happened. Now, I want to have some more fun, so... Get ourselves free from this. Because, yeah, I will see what happens when you have a lorry train or something like that. In this case, a tractor train. And what happens with when that happens, but with a bunch of traders? So, again, I know sort of what's going to happen. I haven't, yeah, I haven't tested this yet. We're going to be experiencing some fun together. But, yeah, this is purely for scientific purposes. You say having a goof around or whatever. This is purely for scientific modern testing purposes, so... Okay, I want, yeah, Garage 2 lift up, so I want that second bay, so... But yeah, but you saw normal vehicles normally. Oh, actually, oof. So... Yeah, that's gonna come up, so... Looking good, that's how it should look normally. And yeah, something like that, you can get 2x2 two two easily in that. Actually, I wanted one. Bear with me. Okay, little nudge there did, but it was not too bad. <clears throat> now I've set to the correct one. So yeah, that's floor two, which makes sense. First floor, second floor, user error net. And oh look, looks more road from the water net. So our case harvester net. And yeah, it went down fine in that, no issues in that. But now, what's going to have issues is this, so... 
Let's see if you're an idiot or a scientific tester in that. Let's pull all of these forward in that. So, so yeah, usually what will happen in that is if physics normally doesn't drop down automatically, when that lowers, I will push it down into the ground. And it's that compressing effect that I want to test. So, okay, the tractor's out. How does physics cope with this? We're going to drop you. Okay, so it's going well. It's going well. I see nothing wrong with this. And... Yep, still attached. Still got a tractor out. Still got the rear one out. And we just... Yeah. <laughs> Can I drive this out? Oh, oh, yeah, well, one trailer out. One trailer, can we get two? Two trailers! Nope. Yep, yeah, oh no. You stood not. We've lost it. <laughs> if there was a trailer in my face, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> oh, God. This is what happens when you're stupid. <laughs> not stupid, it's having a bit of fun. Obviously, uh, this has gone way above the <laughs> purpose of the mod review, Nat. This is me having fun in that, so... Yeah, I think mod testing complete, I think. Oh, uh, so yeah. You uh, yeah, know what, let's free this. But yeah, so this is was... Nope, this one we want. So yeah, this is the all-in-one, or AIO... Uh, underground facility, and that's by Superfy1842. Oh, I'm tempted to just see what this happens now. It's free. Be free. Go on. Flock. Something just shoot out there? I'm not sure. Yeah. Alright, so yeah. It's, yeah, broken, to say the least, but... If I just... It, I need to break it. I do apologise, Super Fight 842. Oh, I do apologise. Uh, no, I'm not sorry. So, having fun, this quality control, I'm calling this. But, yeah, so that is the. So yeah, this is the good outro here. <laughs> this is the all in one underground facility by Super Fight 842. And that is all for me, the final models of May 2024. As always, if you found this helpful and informative in some way, shape, or form, if so, smash the like button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, maybe I'm going to say, but for now, this is me, Farmer Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all a very soon. <laughs> very soon. Oh god, what have I done?